What's up guys, and today for review I have the Gears 5 Kate Diaz from Storm Collectibles. Now I've actually been really excited for this figure when I first saw it announced because I really like Gears 5 which is a major improvement after they went a little stale with Gears 3. The open world parts just really made it feel fresh, especially the snow area which this suit is based on. And that snow area is my favorite part of the game and this suit is too coincidentally. There's probably a correlation there somewhere. Now I turned off the gore content for this gameplay footage in case you're wondering, you know, because I gotta keep it YouTube safe. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer this bloaty heads. But anywho, I've been waiting for this figure for a while now, so let's get this review started. Starting with the box, when we get a nice open display showing off all the goodies inside, as well as a nice glam shot. Here's one side with an awesome glam, the bottom, the other side with another glam, and the top. And here's the back showing off her different heads, the accessories, a big glam shot with some words and some poses. And there she is, guys, Kate Diaz, out of the box with all her stuff. And she comes with a lot of stuff. Now, I already like this figure from inside the packaging, but after taking her out, just wow, the details and all the accessories just look incredible. So let's go and take a closer look so I can show you all the details. Now starting with the head, they already knocked it out of the park with incredible details and great sculpting. Now this little ponytail here is actually removable. You can just pull that right out the back as you can see right there. You can see it's pretty soft, it's got some nice detail, looks like a paintbrush, but we'll put it aside for now so you can get a better detailed look at the face. Now the sculpted resemblance to the in-game character looks pretty spot on to me, in fact I think it might actually be better than the game, you can see they actually gave her some eyelashes there. In the game she looks a bit manly, this one she looks a bit more feminine. The paint apps are clean and tight and if you look closely you can actually see they even put in some freckles on her face. And her hair is nicely sculpted as well, giving it a nice fluffy look I guess that you could say if that's what you would call it and they added earrings on her ear and the paint taps for it are very crisp and clean and moving into the body we get to the armor and that's where they really kick it into gear and the details are just superb and this is why I like this armor everything on it is just finely detailed and the paint applications are crisp and clean and if you look closely there's actually a little bit of texturing there it gives it that look of a seracoated paint texture application on there which is awesome love the cog symbol right there the top portion up here is great too they use some metallic paint there to give it kind of that glow just like the game and I think it works even though it's not really glowing got some nice little things right here the little fluff fluffs and then you go on the side there lots more detail there on both sides and the back it's just so well done with all the details and the sculpting and the paint applications it looks fantastic I really like this I mean I saw the front and I liked it but this back portion is very well done now something interesting is that this entire armor piece is actually a separate piece you can see how it just moves up and down separate of the arms and body and this top portion here is also also a separate piece which is separate from the body armor and it's actually made of a soft plastic as you can see it squishes down like so same thing with this upper portion here it's nice and squishy so that's that's interesting then you got these shoulder pads here which are also squishy but be careful about the arm articulation because even though it does move up nicely if you go too far you can see right here this is just primed to tear it's not a very robust joint unlike the back which is a little bit more robust it should be able to take a little bit more beating so to speak so yeah this is a prime target for tearing so yeah and the arms look just as great loving all the details the little print right there looks very crisp and clean liking that just the paint overall on the arms just the just the body in general look great the brown there looks awesome as well lots of nicely sculpted details elbow pad nicely sculpted hand both arms look the same and they're both equally awesome and here's a closer look at the innards of her arm articulation for those interested try to get some light in there pretty pretty basic overall very well done and very well hidden by this upper armor piece and just so you guys can see just how much this armor moves you can see that's the bottom of the arm right there let me move this up look how high that goes very high and then move it back down and then it pushes her arm down from the front here it is maxed out kind of makes her head disappear into it and then back down and she's got a neck again and moving into the belt it looks great as well I am loving the sculpt and details on it the paint applications look fantastic the buckles that they sculpted in and it actually kind of gives it a leathery look which is nice and it's also made of a very soft rubber so you don't have to worry about tearing it and it's actually movable as you can see we'll first move the upper armor out of the way and then boom look at that it comes right on up it's not glued down or anything and then you can see the waist joint right under there once you move it out of the way. Now this actual piece right here, the waist is soft as you can see. 
has a nice squish to it all around. So definitely be careful when articulating the legs, particularly down here, because it's extremely thin, so you could tear it. So definitely watch out for that. And moving into the legs, the awesome details continue. I love how they added this little kind of fluffiness for the winter gear there. Got little like rivets or whatever like that. Then you got the little strap for the pistol there. This one's just strapped for the little fluffy stuff. I really have no idea what that's called. I'm just gonna call it fluffy stuff. And here's a closer look at the boots, which I also equally like because of all the nice detail they added to it. You got more of that fluffy stuff. I'm just gonna look that up after this review probably and just probably kick myself in the face for calling it fluffy stuff. But then you got the buckles right there. Got some nice details on the shoe as well. Look at all that right there. Storm Collectibles definitely spared no expense all the way down to the bottom including these shoes. And here is the bottom of the shoes as you can see and they have tread. Oh and these little knee pads right here are actually nice and soft and they're not glued down and they do move up and down which is great for articulation which I'll show right now. We'll first start with the head articulation which spins in the usual circle as every other figure has some pretty decent side to side there and some up and down not so much up but mainly down and her arm is on a dog bone joint there allowing it to go up and down like so that's the range and it also goes forward and back you can go in a circle but it might tear that right there as I warned she has a bicep swivel that also goes in a circle and then a double jointed elbow that goes pretty far that much and then her hand goes in a circle and goes down and uh oh geez Okay, I got the hand there. This is actually a good thing and not a bad thing that it fell off so easy because it actually pops in and it stays pretty well, but they come off so easily, which is like, what I just like that because you don't snap it. Plus, overall, all the joints on this figure are so smooth. I usually do a break in on the joints, but this one I didn't have to do any because they just they all worked and they were smooth and none were stuck. I mean, I'm really impressed with Storm Collectible so far. But anyways, let's continue the articulation. Now she actually does have a double waist joint, one at the torso so up here and one at the waist but it's very interesting let's look at the bottom first you can see it can twist quite a bit there's a center line that black strip right there and then it also goes that far back move her arm out of the way that far back and that far forward but this top portion here it's like connected to her head you can actually move it and it moves the arms as you can see like that but if you really go for it you can see how far back that goes like that and then that much forward like so and she has some great range side to side and it also spins independently of the bottom torso piece right there so that's it's a it's a hidden joint it's in there somewhere with her face forward like this i can kind of move this out of the way give you kind of a look there get my phone flashlight there shine that in there so you can kind of take a peek at the innards but yep that's that's what it looks like and her legs can go that far forward and quite a bit back as well kind of get that going there as i said this is nice and soft so you have to be careful you don't pinch it when you're moving the legs she has excellent splits now there is no thigh swivel but her legs can go in and out like so this side's a little bit stiffer so it doesn't show as well here's that from the side there and from the back so there's a little bit of motion and she has a double jointed knee which is incredibly fluid and smooth just take a look at that that's pretty awesome there now one thing that's really nice about this being removable that moves up and down is check this out when you move the leg like this you have her pose like that it's just like oh that looks kind of weird right but then you just move this up a little bit like so don't go too far because then you show the joint there just that much and now check that out looks a whole lot better like way better this, this i like that and her foot can go that far forward that far back and it has some pivot there as you can see but it doesn't go all the way because of the other parts of the leg and her toe goes that far forward and now let's go and take a look at her accessories she comes with a lot but let's go and start with her heads you simply just pop the old head off and i love how smooth and easy it pops off very well engineered by storm collectibles and then you just pop the new one on this hair kind of gets in the way so you kind of uh, gotta be careful about that that's the only bad part but then ding there you go new heads on now this head sculpt looks to be based off the gears 4 look which has the beanie on top which it looks good overall but it's not my most favorite look this hair though doesn't seem to pop out like the other head and here she is sporting the head and honestly i think it looks kind of weird on this suit but you know it's still nice to give it to us at least and then we get the visor head and this is what really sold me on the figure because the only way to get this visor in game was to buy the special edition gears 5 controller which i did and even then 
then it's only available in multiplayer, so yeah. This is pretty special, I really like this head. I really like the paint job on the visor there because it has a nice metallic orange to it, which reminds me of the Nissan Z when it first came out. Plus the coating and the sheen of it is just perfect. There's no blemishes, it's smooth and just so well applied. And here she is with the visor head on and man, this, this looks really good. I really like the way this looks and this is definitely gonna be the way I display her. And an interesting side note is the back hair right here actually pops off and it's the same fit as the hair on the other other head sculpt there, the original one, this one right here that comes with it as a default. So you can just plug that in if you want, just kind of get that in there. And now you have the head with the hair if you want. So that's 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 pretty cool. And here she is with the visor and the hair attached. And honestly, this looks really good. And I think that this is actually going to be the way I display her. And then we got the Lancer, which is my favorite weapon in the game. Although the muzzle is a little limp for some reason. I guess I'll have to try to bend that back later. And the Lancer itself is pretty stiff overall, except for the back, which is a little bendy. And definitely the muzzle, which is super bendy. But anyways, they went to town on the details. Just look at all that weathering and that extra extra silver paint on top of the black paint and you got some blood splatter for the chainsaw there and this is actually not that sharp I mean you can feel it prickly but it doesn't cut you so that's a plus that's the other side they even add the blue glows there it looks so good ah really love the way they did this except for the limp muzzle and then we have the Nasher which is equally nice looking and it also is the main reason I constantly die in multiplayer but hey you know if you know how to use it it's great for you and then you got the blue right here and then the brass color up here which is actually very accurately and cleanly painted there's no little bleeds or anything so that's definitely a plus it's pretty stiff too and then we have the Talon which honestly I never use I mean it looks great but I mean if I ever pull this out I, I pretty much consider myself a lost cause and I just I just might as well die and it's also pretty stiff including the magazine and next up we have the locust necklace which was given to her by her mother and the sculpting is great overall I love the gold and it's pretty soft so you can wrap it around her neck just like so hmm wait okay that that doesn't look right. And then she comes with four additional sets of hands. The first set is the trigger finger hand. The next set is the high five open hand. The next set is the opening grip hand, which is used to hold the foregrip of the weapon. And the last one is used to hold the necklace or make the ka-ching money symbol, if you want to see it that way. And that's what she looks like holding the necklace with that hand. Probably should pull it down a little bit so that it looks like gravity is pulling. This thing just has a mind of its own. But one thing that's nice about these hands is that they're very soft and pliable so you don't have to worry about the fingers breaking off as you can see. So you can easily wrap it around the gun right here. Let's go and wrap it around the Lancer. And what's really nice is check out, check out how perfectly that fits. Look at that. I love how they did that. The finger fits perfectly in the trigger housing. Their hand wraps around the pistol just right, or rifle just right and same thing with the holding hand as well just look at how perfectly that just holds the rifle it's a little bit tight fit right there but you finagle it in it goes in and just fits so nice I love how they did that and here's what she looks like holding the Lancer looking pretty sweet I haven't decided which uh, gun I'm gonna use yet but this one definitely looks like a winner and here she is holding the Nasher which looks pretty cool but isn't quite as imposing as the Lancer but a quick note the trigger hand doesn't fit quite as nicely on the Nasher as you can see it doesn't really fit in the trigger housing or finger and it doesn't wrap around quite as nicely so definitely was made for the Lancer and here she is holding the Talon which is not the weapon I really ever use so I'm probably not gonna display her like this but at least you have another hand to put another weapon in if you want and the trigger hand actually fits nicely around the Talon so it looks like it was made for the Talon and the Lancer there's some dual wielding action there and in case you're wondering there is not a way to attach the weapons to her back just like in the game which is unfortunate so that's that's kind of a bummer even this this, although it looks like it there's no actual way to attach it so oh well maybe maybe magnets or glue and height wise she clocks in at about seven and a half inches tall and for some comparisons here she is next to some Star Wars black series figures here she is next to some Marvel Legends and here's some diamond select well guys, overall she is one fine figure. I'm still very impressed with how smooth the joints are and how none of them needed any break in. Some of the joints do seem a bit loose but they still hold their position so that's a non-issue. Overall I'm extremely pleased with the final product and her quality makes me want some more storm collectible figures. Gotta go look up what they have now. Might have to grab that Marcus Phoenix figure. Anywho dudes, I've snagged a bunch of new toys so stay tuned for more awesome but until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.